Hello everyone and welcome to today's Thursday happy hour live stream. Um, it's June 4th and we're going to start out with some fiddle if you can imagine that. We seem to do that every time. That's kind of become the way I've been doing things. So here's a couple of jigs that uh, we've done with Fintan a number of times. <laughs> Welcome to this Thursday happy hour. That was Morrison's jig followed by the ten penny bit jig. So that's our opening fiddle. Um, we're going to move on to some guitar music now and some singing. So I hope you're going to enjoy that. Um, this song was a new one last week. Um, it was a little rough, so I've been working on it for another week, and we're going to do it again. And I think maybe we'll all enjoy it a little bit better. So I got to put on the guitar. Um, welcome everybody who's joining in. And uh, if you know the song, feel free to sing along. That's allowed, as far as I'm concerned, on any of these songs. I wish that I could hear you singing along, um, but this is kind of a one-way communication at my end. So I don't get to hear you, you just get to hear me. And I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoy doing it for you. So here we go with a song that I did last week and hopefully a little better than I did last week. We spotted the ocean at the head of the trail But where are we going? We're so far away Somebody told
Sprocket called Walk on the Ocean. Like I said, that was a song that I did last week, but uh, I think it went a little more smoothly this time than it did last week when it was pretty brand new. So, you know, I've had another week to work on it. Um, we're going to move on to another song. This one I've been doing for a while. Um, worked on it with a duo here and there. Um, just bring it back every so often because I like to play it, and as long as you guys like to listen and hang around, that's good too. They made up their minds and they started packing. They left before the sun came up that day. their wine and they got to talking. Walk on this painted road. It's always 
summer they'll never get cold, they'll never get hungry, they'll never get old and gray. You can see their shadows wandering up somewhere. They won't make it home, but they really don't care. They wandered the highway, they're happy there. because they don't know the way. And at the beginning of the song, you might have thought I didn't know the way, but we got it figured out. All right, moving on, it's time for my original. It's still somewhat timely. We're all still dealing with it, along with everything else going on in the world. So here we go, the COVID social distance blues. <laughs> Came back from a disaster, St. Patty's had to shut myself away. Wanted to get out to meet and play music, but it sure ain't happening today. All the places are closed, so what you gonna do? Gotta put those brain cells to use. I got them steadily depressing. Shoreline with my toes in the sand and the wind blowing through my hair. Instead, I'm sitting in my pajamas, crossing the news, or just rolling over in the snooze. I got them steadily depressing, low down my missing, over to the distance. Through. You know, a man of my ability should be playing on a great big stage. But until this all settles down, I sit here like a clown. Oh, like I'm not going to care. see what we're coming up to here oh so as some of you know I grew up went to high school in Indiana and so you couldn't avoid growing up in that area in that time frame in the early mid 80s um, for an artist that came from that region in fact came from the town I was in for high school, 
and played a bunch of everyman kind of songs and supported the farmers, did farm aid. That's right, John Mellencamp. So here's a little ditty for you. time to make this little warning. I put out a little post earlier that uh, we may get some rain roll in here and it's a possibility it turns into thunderstorms. We've seen some uh, uh, the radar looking like you know a 30% chance but it could blow in any minute and it could make things a little exciting while we're here. So hopefully you're enjoying the music and if we run into issues with the internet or God knows power um, we'll see what we can do to keep things going. Um, hopefully it'll switch over and we'll see only a small interruption in the internet stuff. Um, but you might just see me disappear because the lights go out. So we'll see what happens. So far nothing's happening and that's the way we like it. Um, I'm going to move on to just a little bit. We started with some fiddle jigs. Um, Morrison's jig and ten penny bid at the top of the, uh, at the top of this set list. Um, and now I'm going to go pull out the banjo and do yet another jig. Now we're just going to do the one, so if you're not a real fan of my banjo, stick around because it won't last long, and we'll go back to other things. But if you really enjoy the banjo, then um, this is for you. Swallowtail jig on the banjo. My Celtic banjo. I've said it before, but some of you might be new. Um, this is, it doesn't have the fifth string up here that the bluegrass folks play. 
and it's tuned more like a mandolin, like a fiddle. Um, however, because of the length of the strings, it's so long down here, it's a lot more reach to be able to play things. So there's some adjustments I had to make in fingering in order to be able to play songs that you're used to hearing me play on the fiddle or mandolin and bring it to the banjo. So without further ado, as they say, here's Swallowtail Jig. in together, everything sounding alike. Um, I do put some effort in choosing the songs that I'm going to sing and play guitar on um, to also make sure that uh, that I have some variety in those, at least in the rhythms and the keys, um, all hopefully within my vocal range um, and hopefully where I can do them well enough that you all enjoy it. Um, one of the things that makes live music what it is, is an occasional mistake here and there, because um, otherwise you could just, you know, somebody could create and program robots and just turn them loose and let them play. Um, but it's a lot more fun when it's people. All right, so it's happy hour, and my happy hour, as I said, has a variety of instruments. And so um, what I've got up next is some more fiddle. For all those of you that came in and missed the uh, initial fiddle, and I welcome everybody that uh, has come in since the last time I made uh, mention of that. Welcome to join me. Um, thanks for joining me. Um, again, I don't do the tip jar thing that some of the other um, musicians are doing when they do their live streams. Instead, I'd appreciate if you're feeling like you're motivated that direction to check out One Fair Wage. Um, it's the charity I've mentioned every one of these live streams that helps out um, servers, um, restaurant servers, restaurant staff, um, bar staff, um, all the other gig economy kind of workers that were affected by all the COVID stuff. Um, some of them may be getting affected by uh, other current events. Um, I'm not gonna get into that right now, but, um, so instead of tipping me, I'd appreciate a contribution to those charity, that charity or other live stream musicians that you may be enjoying. Um, and right now, I'm gonna move on to the fiddle. We're gonna do uh, what I refer to as cottage coolies. I've got cottage in the glen is the first tune, and coolies reel is tacked on at the end of it. So here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
cottage coolies. Cottage in the Glen and coolies reel. Also known as Dooley's reel for some reason. Uh, I don't know whether somebody just heard it wrong and back in the midst of time and suddenly we had two names for the same piece. All right, so we're gonna go back to uh, the guitar. I'm gonna take another drink of my beverage of choice. I hope you're all enjoying yours on this Thursday happy hour. Gotta wet my whistle, so to speak, even though, as you all know, I don't play whistles. Um, so, moving on in the time since last live stream, um, there's been a lot going on in the world, and this song has just kind of stuck in my head, and I decided that I needed to share it with you. So this is a new song this week. Hopefully it goes a lot smoother than the new songs last week, and we're going to play with it and see how we do here. But uh, I really just couldn't avoid it. I couldn't stay away from it. I got one more in a similar vein I've done before. Um, and then we'll get on to happier things. All right. So this little song was performed by Elvis Costello. It was written by Nick Lowe. It kind of captured some of my thoughts even before all of this was going on. Um, just with... Um, the state of affairs in our communities, in our government, everybody, 
Um, so hopefully you'll enjoy this one too. So here we go. of our lives these days. Um, we're going to move on from the sad protest, unrest, uncertainty kind of songs into something a little happier. And this is going to be my final song on the set list, and I want to thank all of you who have joined in and are singing along, playing along, enjoying your beverage along. On this Thursday happy hour, this song I've just enjoyed having it out there. Um, as all of us were dealing with working from home and, and activities being canceled and, and some of the things that help us keep track of our days, um, not being there and every day starting to look alike. Um, this song is a little reminder.
caught all the Thursday lines in that song. Thursday doesn't even start. Well, now we've had a happy hour. So this Thursday is hopefully looking up for you as we roll into the weekend. And uh, I'll see you next time. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday night. And the weather cooperated for us. No storms knocking out things. All right, folks. Take care.